The Triple B Podcast would like to invite you to come break bread with your brothers. If you like what you're hearing on the show, if you think we missed the mark, or if we got it all wrong, reach out to us on social media. We can be reached on Twitter at triple underscore B underscore pod or search Brothers Breaking Bread Podcast. We are the Brothers Breaking Bread on Facebook and our email is brothersbreakingbreadpod at gmail.com. Further descriptions are in the show notes. Like, follow, friend, do all that good stuff. And please never forget to break bread with your brothers. What's this, uh, Bert? Owens on TikTok. What's that? Bert Owens on TikTok. I don't know. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, let's see. Bert Owens. Bert Owens. What's the Oh yeah, yeah. What's that? Oh, so he was talking about it was just uh, this, he was talking about all the wild shit that's happening in the world and how fucked up people are. And he was just naming like he named like three or four stories that aren't big that you don't know about. Like, so, um, like, I, let me look at the stories. Cause I was like, damn. At least oh I yeah. Can- like this dude in Raleigh, North Carolina. So this little kid shot and killed his brother then walked through a neighborhood in Raleigh, North Carolina and shot and killed like four or five people. This is mm. out in open random. That's just one of the stories he was talking about. He was just talking about how fucked up people are. It's wild. Like it's some wild shit like that we that don't make the news that you ain't heard about. Or like this other one is a, a janitor caught on camera dipping his penis into a wa- a woman's water bottle and giving her a STD. Oh gross. That's ugh. Yeah. Wild shit. Wild as fuck, bro. <laughs> wow. Ain't the wild shit. Wild shit. What is this you're talking about, AC? <laughs> That's your intro? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's this dude, Burt Owens, on, um, like, he did a, a TikTok, and he was just naming all these random stories that are so wild because he was saying how fucked up people are. And he was naming all these random stories on how wild, like, all this wild shit that's happening that nobody even hears about or talks about, like, how fucking crazy the world is. And one of the stories was a janitor that was caught on camera dipping his penis into a woman's water bottle and infecting her with an incurable STD. Stories going from bad to worse. It was the STD. Now it's the incurable STD. That's the title of the. That's the title of the article. That that's in the video, but it's like three or four articles in there. Um, that's crazy. There's so much good shit this week. It is a lot of stuff to to play with. So, I mean, that's between the Kyrie, Kanye, and Herschel Walker, I don't even know if that even rates. Yeah. But, again, that's his point. (laughs) Yeah. How y'all doing? We out here chilling in the spot. What up? Breaking Bread Podcast in the house. Hey, Breaking bread. How y'all doing? We out here chilling in the spot. What up? Trying to hold it all together, man. Life is moving fast right now, man. So it's good to have everybody out through. I love that, man. I love it a lot more than I could, I could, I could, I could say to you guys. Got the wing, no matter where he go. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got the eye back, no matter where he go. 
Right. And as long as, as, long as it, both DN stay at home, you good. Right. No, if this motherfucker run up in the stands to the press box, I'm gonna be on his heels. That's my man. We gonna get popcorn together, my nigga. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. We gonna be in the booth with Joe Jeff commentating together, my nigga. Indeed. <laughs> Straight up. That's hey, that's how you work that. Yeah, but I, are you recording, Joe? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, man. I, like I said, I just want to hop on real quick, man. I feel bad because I ain't be able to get on. But, you know, games and, and traveling up and down the road. Uh, I didn't expect this game to start at 830, but here we are. 830? Oh, is it rain delay? Rain delay. And I guess I guess the reason why I delayed it, there was, there was some lightning in the area for a little bit. So, I guess they were trying to just be safe. No, nah, it was nasty. Oh, safe, sorry. Yeah, it was nasty uh, out here. But yeah, man. Yeah, love y'all. Miss y'all, man. Uh, love what y'all putting out, man. Uh, check in. Life is good. Source of my side eye. Uh, fuck diabetes. Also, fuck niggas who don't follow the protocol while they own diabetic medication. Uh, my pops didn't do what he's supposed to do. Now that nigga ain't got no leg. Uh, but that's on him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's yeah. in good spirits. Outside of that, man, life is really, really good. I can't really complain. Hey man, hey, good deal, bro. When I saw like when I saw you in KC, man, you look you look happy. You look in a good space, man. So um, that's that's always good to see. If, if um, I can get my parents to fucking my mom, my mom's doing good. If I can just get her to tell me what she needs before I leave work, or tell me what she needs at eight in the morning instead of eight o'clock at night. Okay. Hey, I get my pops to fucking you know take his medication, and when that nigga spill hot shit. That people know my life would be even better. Yeah. <laughs> right, hey man, right, when, right. You start, when you start telling that story, why well, fuck my head go immediately to that one uh, vet? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what what the nigga that was racing and they took his legs? When that nigga, that nigga had them on motherfucking feet, his legs was on leash, and they came and took him because he missed the payment. <laughs> That was the story we covered on the show. Oh, it was horrible, too. Fuck that. America's horrible. America's horrible. Yeah, they bro. took that nigga's leg. They came and repossessed that nigga's leg. What did you to run a race or something? What you say? We didn't have a leg to stand on, bro. <laughs> yeah, I did say that. I know. I think you said that. I might have. One of us, <laughs> we both said wild <laughs> shit. We were saying wild shit. That, like, that was the real wild days of the uh, Buzz Baker bread. One of us said, damn. My man ain't even got a leg stained on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I got I'm about to hop out this truck, man. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. The show is good. I fuck it. I y'all know I really miss it. I miss y'all. This is that's my release. That's my therapy. Uh, so yeah. Hope. I mean, I want them to win, but I miss podcasting. So, but I want my kids to win. So if they win, probably more than likely, if I do, am I able to get on next week? I'm definitely gonna be on the road driving to fucking Nixon, Missouri. Yeah. You might need to be on the podcast just because you're driving to Nixon. I might need just to have just my. So phone we have podcast. a GPS on you. GPS. Uh, I might have to get one of them motherfucking they the, the shit they put on deer's ears and shit or wild the animals. Whistles. They were leaving back out oh. to cap out no, of captivity, nigga. Back and we're driving man. down. We driving down uh, like 30 miles, 30, 40 miles below Springfield, nigga. I don't even know what's down yeah. there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, you going to the boot hill. Yeah. 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 They might, they might, like the radio station, might, it might not be nothing but banjos playing. As soon as you cross, as soon as you get to Springfield and drive below that motherfucker, it might just be banjo. You about to hear deliverance when you get down there. <laughs> Pretty mouth, boy. You got a pretty mouth. You got a pretty mouth. <laughs> but hey, man, I'm going to hop out of here, man. Like I said, man, love y'all, man. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. I'm going to keep listening. I'm, I'm a, like a fucking fan now. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> but, yeah, I know y'all going to cover what y'all got to cover, man. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, before I got here, yeah. Uh, hopefully uh, Kyrie uh, recognized that uh, the Holocaust was bad, slavery was bad. And, yeah, you, you ain't got to fucking talk about everything. Sometimes you just got to put the motherfucking phone down. And we talked about it on the show before. Sometimes you just got to stay off social media. Everybody ain't got to know your thoughts. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, bro. This nigga, this nigga trying to get something in for the show. <laughs> I'm, just, I, I'm trying to get in because I know it was like, y'all see me at the game. Once I, I mean, get locked in, y'all talking shit, and I'm locked in. I'm trying in. not to feed into you, though, right now, because I know if we go, we start going, you'll get ready to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just, just, like, <laughs> and, and, like, between Hershey Walker, motherfucking Kyrie, and motherfucking Kanye West, dog, I feel like they just trying to strike niggas and vote, man. So fuck everybody. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, right. you're right. That's a good point. All right, man. I, I'm, I'm going to go, man. But I love y'all, man. I miss you, niggas, man. I'm going to holler. All right, bro. All right, out. I got the little sound bite from the nigga. Yeah, you plug him in. Mm-hmm. You know, he feel, he feel left out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I can't blame him. Can't blame him. No, nah, I know the weeks I miss, I'll be like, man. Yeah, it, it, it's it's it, you feel it because you're like damn, 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 damn. Mhm. But life happens, bro. Now nah, we had to uh, we had to go ahead and evolve a little bit. No, well, but it, it it provides it provides some complexity um, to the show. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like it because it's you know you keep the ball rolling and you know you get to hear more of certain people. Um, sometimes like that, so it's, it's good. Nah, absolutely. Speaking of niggas who gonna have a a clear view, <laughs> this nigga Kyrie is gonna be able to see Brooklyn games very well from the bench for the next five games, <laughs> or, or maybe maybe from his uh, television at home. I don't know where exactly you go when you suspend it. Um, <laughs> Wherever the fuck is not in the stadium. Yes, so. <laughs> Kyrie Irving has inserted himself into the Kanye fiasco, and uh, he's been accused of anti-Semitism. What say the people? Oh, this nigga Kyrie is half a meal lighter, too. Half a meal. Yeah, he donated I some shit. Said about, Nike suspended him too. They Nike donated like half a meal to the ADL. Yeah. The, American, the Anti-Defamation League. Yep. Oh, donated but then Nike, Nike is suspending their relationship with him too. I just saw that about an hour ago. So he's oh, wow. not huh. only donating money, supposedly, but also about to uh, be on that money. These rich niggas is into giving away money right now. Is that how y'all see this shit? That ain't how I see it. I, I do feel like I do feel like I got mixed feelings on Kyrie, man. Cause that nigga likes to poke the bear, but he only likes to poke the bear when somebody else has poked it. Um, I I got mixed mixed feelings on this conversation because they're making it about it's a conversation that needs to be had. But the way they're they're it taking needs the conversation, to be fucking money, it but needs, they're, they're 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 leading the conversation in the wrong direction, bro. Like Kyrie is closer than Kanye is. Let's be clear on that. Kyrie is closer to to the actual conversation that Kanye is trying to have, but Kanye is leading it from a place of is is I don't think it's about the money, about the contracts, and all that particular part so, of it. So what is the conversation then? Because because. I know you have your anti Kanye bias. <laughs> no, I think the Kanye, I think the conversation personally, when he he keeps referring to the tribes of Judah and 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 how, you know, he's talking he's talking about how black people, you know, need to get back to their own and all that, but it's turning into his financial issues and his personal conceit his personal issues. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, I think I think you went to the weeds with Kanye. I don't think that's the, that's that's not the conversation. So, what do you think the conversation is? Well, let me let me get someone else's chance. Ida, what's the conversation? I'm not really sure. I feel like right now, like my mind is going to just the fact that this is another anti-Semitic thing, and people have said crazy things about other people and other groups and other religions and other things in society. Um, I haven't, I didn't see the video clip that he posted or I haven't seen reference to it, so I don't really know what it was, but um, I agree that it was probably anti-Semitic, but at the same time, why is that the, the, 
measuring stick for people to be canceled. Like these people are actually being canceled, getting their contracts canceled and getting their paychecks canceled for at least a little bit. So what, why is that the mark? Why is that the, the ruler the goalpost that people keep saying people have crossed? That's, that's the conversation. That's the conversation that we had. Like niggas is getting X'd out for calling people on their shit. Everybody else in the world, everybody else can get called on their shit. But when you call this one particular group, they are taking millions and billions away from black men. Are these the two shining representations of the black community? Hell no. But they still members of the black community and they still have freedom of speech. And it's not like they're lying. They may be misguided, misinformed. They may not be doing it in the best possible manner. They're not, you know, brilliant statesmen and, and don't have the or, 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 uh, oratory skills that Obama has. But they not far from the mark. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, maybe we look at the maybe we look at the vessel and say, hey, they done fucked up several times before, so so we're gonna go err on the side of caution. But this is an issue, it's been an issue. You know what I'm saying? So I just said she didn't hear the remarks from Kyrie. I'm gonna go ahead and let him ride. On Prime, I was like, you know what, let me see if there are any documentaries on Yahweh. So Went in the search bar, typed in Yahweh, that came up. Went out and shared it on my platform. That was my night. In terms of the backlash or what people call it, uh, we're in 2022. History is not supposed to be hidden from anybody. And I'm not a divisive person when it comes to religion. I, I embrace all walks of life. You see it on all my platforms. I talk to all races, all cultures, all religions. And my response would be, um, it's not about educating yourself on what Semitism is and what anti-Semitism is. It's really about learning the root words of where these come from and understanding that this is an African heritage that is also belonging to the people. Africa is in it, whether we want to dismiss it or not. So the claims of anti-Semitism and who are the original chosen people of God and we go into these religious conversations and it's a big no-no. I don't live my way like that. I don't live my life that way. Excuse me, I grew up in a melting pot, and I say a melting pot of all races, white, black, red, yellow, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and you can see the way I live my life now. I'm not here to be divisive, so they could push their agenda. I don't want to say they, because I'm not identifying any one group or race of people, but I'm in a unique position to have a level of influence on my community. And what I post does not mean that I support everything that's being said or everything that's being done or I'm campaigning for anything. All I do is post things for my people in my community and those that it's actually going to impact. Anybody else that has criticism and obviously wasn't meant for them. I'm going to pause it right there. It's about six minutes. I do want to go a little deeper into it. What do y'all feel about that? Are you responsible for everything that you post? He basically said, if you don't like what I post, it's not for you. So don't complain about it. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that, but I think that's hard to do mm. because Kyrie's different. Kyrie's different. Like, if I post something, okay, whatever. If you post something, whatever. Nobody shows up and puts microphones in my face to talk every day. No one no one is paying, you know, paying me, you know, $37, $40 million a year to represent an organization. So, yes, you are responsible, you're not responsible, but you are responsible for what you post, depending on, especially depending on what position you are in. I don't have two million followers, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you're in that position, you do have an opportunity to influence a lot of people, and let's not, you know, let's not misconstrue that fact. I'm not saying that what Kyrie is saying is untrue, all I'm saying is, at the same time, bro, you can't just be like, oh, I just posted it and didn't expect nothing to happen. Especially with what's going on right now, like especially with the conversations that are going on right now. Kyrie's smart. I, I didn't you see know? the tweet. I didn't see the tweet, and I don't know. Yeah, what... He just posted an Amazon movie. That's no, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I don't know what video it was. And it was just a, a screenshot of it. It wasn't even the, it wasn't even the movie, was it? It wasn't a link to it, was it? That was a link to it. It was a link to it. But he didn't necessarily watch the video. 
Not really. Is he no. responsible for the content of the video if he just did a quick search and he was looking I for think that Yahweh? As a celebrity, it's different and he should understand it's different and his agents and his media specialists, which I'm sure he has people who do all that shit and can't, or if he doesn't, he has enough money where he could have people do that. He needs to understand, like if I, like in our chat group, I might post something, no comment, just post it. Just because I want to start a conversation about it. But if you're a celebrity, you have to understand if you're posting something just to have a conversation about it, if you're posting it for certain people, you might have to specify that. Or you might have to, like, make a different platform for sharing of that. Like, people people that, like, I fucking taught previously and people that I went to school with have multiple social media pages because they know this is the one where I do this. This is the one where it's going to be my work related one where people that are going to have to do business with me, see me this way. And this one's going to be where I show my kids or my dog or where I act ratchet, whatever it is, they have different social media platforms for that. And as a celebrity, he should know better. Does him posting it automatically mean that he believes that? No, but he then then came back and started co-signing the things. I still am not sure what the video was about. Did he co-sign? Made it anti anti-Semitic. He's co-signing the fact that he's he's uh reiterating his beliefs, I guess I should say. I don't think he, did that, he, I don't think he did that at all. I don't think he did that at all. I think what he did was he uh he said I Googled it, it was the search, I put whatever I found out to the world because it was a topic. I don't think he I don't think he backed it up. I think he was looking for information because, again, it's this idea about sensitivism and anti-Semitism. He's coming from the aspect that Kanye is coming on that, you know, the Hebrew Israelite black people are the true Jews. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he came with whatever the video was talking about that was anti-Semitic. He was looking for an answer that, to that question. I understand that, but he also needs to be smart enough to know that if I'm posting this video, I need to make sure I know what this video is. I'm not going to post anything on my social media pages unless I understand a little bit more about it. So I'm not going to be like, I believe in black Israelites, and I'm just going to post this video, but I'm not sure if it's if it's actually about what I'm trying to say or if it has anything to do with my beliefs. But I'm going to post it anyway. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Why would you do that? Just because maybe you saw somebody else post it, so I'm going to repost it without having watched it or learned about it. So I understand I think a lot of that saying, shit happens his in this world. With that, but this, for this <laughs> posting in the video, I think that's a totally different thing. Because he's doing two different things. He's sharing ideas about what he believes about the original Jewish people, the black Israelites, and all of this, but he's also then posting a video that apparently demonstrates, like, old school anti-Semitic ideas. A video that is on Amazon. Mm -hmm. This video is on Amazon. This isn't some shit off the dark web. It's on fucking Amazon. Anybody with Prime can go watch the motherfucker. Why would, you, why would you? Why would you? Why would you? Why would you sit here and think that I'm gonna get canceled for posting something off of Amazon? That's ridiculous to me. So just because of the source that it's from, I should be okay posting something if it's. Why are we not canceling Amazon? Amazon I'm not saying that shit. that's not that's not something that needs to happen, but at the same time, if I'm going to post something from this place, I'm going to make sure that it's something that's okay with me and with my people and with my beliefs. And so what I'm saying is the bigger conversation is why is it that when black people are pushing back against the Jewish community for things they felt like have been done wrong to them on the business side of things, why is it the black people are ex are are taking backlash, but nobody has said shit to Jeff Bezos. It came from his platform. It was on uh, fucking Mark Zuckerberg's Instagram or Facebook or whatever fuck it was on. Elon Musk, Twitter, whatever fuck it was on. But we coming for Kyrie. I'm not saying anything, anybody shouldn't be coming for any of those people, but at the same time, if you're a celebrity, you need to be aware of what you're posting and what re what the possible reactions are going to be to that and need to be well aware of that, and you should have agents and people who help you with that. I don't even understand why, as a celebrity, uh, why you're posting shit yourself. If I was a celebrity, I would have somebody who does my social media posts for me. I would make sure that they know what to post and what not to post, and then I'd be like, hey, every few days post something about this, post something about this, and post something about this. 
Because he's not concerned about what you're concerned about. Until they get good at it, I'd about. ask for their approval. Uh, they'd need my approval first. He's not concerned about what you're concerned about. You're concerned about saving face and, and um, protecting your reputation. And, um, you know what I'm saying, making sure that you're standing in the community stays, you know, what you've built it to be. That's not his concern. His concern, like Kanye's concern, is they want to use this like Donald Trump did. Uh, so it's not just on black people. Donald Trump did the same thing. They want to use it as a vehicle to speak to the people unfiltered. Okay, fair, fair enough. I'm with you. Like, all right, check this out. I'm with you. So I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying about Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. I agree with that 100%. And here, here's my thing with Kyrie. Then, this, I guess, this is my, this is my beef. Like, I feel like he wants to get in the fight but he doesn't want to be in the fight. Like, I feel like he's, like, got one foot in and one foot out. Does that make sense? Like, he did it. Kyrie's a smart motherfucker, man. Let's not get it twisted. He's a very smart dude. So it's like, I'm going to kick this ant pile, but I don't want to get bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to put this information out here. Kyrie's smart. Kyrie knows what the fuck he posted, bro. Like, I'm sorry. He knows what he posted, which is fine. I get it. But don't kick it and then hide your hand. Like, don't throw rocks and hide your hands, bro. If you're going to do it, at least as much as I, you know, he annoys me, Kanye owns every piece of idiocracy that he spits out of his mouth. Own the shit then. If you're going to do it, fucking do it. I don't know, bro. As I said and as I heard him say, he was looking for a connection between black people being the true Israelites. And then right. in the video, it got onto some real anti-Semitic shit that may not have been about that topic. He was looking to co-sign on this idea, but it's a documentary, so it's going to have a whole lot of ideas. One idea he agreed with, another idea he may not even known about was in there. People found it and had something to say. And he's like, well, my, you know, name my bad. Hey, I don't claim responsibility for that. But as a celebrity, whatever you post, you are promoting. Let's not get that mixed up. You're promoting it. I don't think that's true. Okay, so what is the definition of promoting? Why do we put stuff on our Facebook? Why do we put stuff on our social media? I put shit on social media because I want to commemorate the time. Sometimes. Okay. So you want to commemorate a time and it's cool for you to have as a memory, but it's also known that everyone's going to see that and look into that. Is that, or, or people, not everyone, but a lot of people are going to look into it and see it. If you post, if you just randomly put up a post about, Hey, uh, track me tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You're not promoting that track me, but that's track me tomorrow. That's obviously a promotion. If okay. I, if I put up, a meme that tickled me today. I might just want to have it show back up in my uh my feed a year from now to remind me of this of this moment. I don't know. Yeah, but that nigga didn't put up a meme. He put, that up, nigga a video. put up a movie. That nigga put up a, a documentary, bro. Like he, he wanted it, he wanted to contribute to the conversation that. that was going on. He wanted to contribute to the conversation that was going on. That's not a promotion. He wanted that to be, is. I guess it is. You can make a comment if you want to contribute. If you want to contribute to the conversation, then you can contribute to the conversation by making a statement. Well, let's let's hear some more of this nigga's statements. Here we go. Hopefully, I'm understanding what you said, and I, I want to make sure I get it right because I don't want to miss. I don't expect. Part of it. I don't expect understanding from a media conglomerate group that sincerely talks about the game of basketball, and then we bring up religion as if it's correlative at times when it's convenient for people to bring it up so please just be direct with your question mm-hmm. so we can move on from this and i could talk about the game and go home to my son elohim and my wife marlene okay i might take it that this was the what you shared was not something that you've even watched this was you did okay you did watch it or either watch it or read i had a lot of time last year to read a lot read a whole bunch good and bad about the truth of our world so then do you, I guess, understand or not understand those that might imply that that work had anti-Semitic leanings in it? Right. Well, I only ask this because the tweet is still up there. So I We're in 2022. It's on Amazon, a public platform. 
Whether you want to go watch it or not is up to you. There's things being posted every day. I'm no different than the next human being, so don't treat me any different. You guys come in here and make up this powerful influence I have over top of the adultery of me. Oh, you, you cannot post that. Why not? Why not? I don't hear an uproar of that. I'm not here to be divisive on what's going on on this or that. I'm not comparing Jews to blacks. I'm not comparing white to black. I'm not doing that. That conversation is dismissive, and it constantly revolves around the rhetoric of who are the chosen people of God. And I'm not here to argue over a person or a culture or religion on what they believe. No, nah, this is what is here. It's on a public platform. Did I do anything illegal? Okay. Yeah, I just want to say, did I do anything illegal? Did I hurt anybody? Did I harm anybody? Am I going out and saying that I hate one specific group of people? So out of all the judgment that people got from me posting, I, I just, without talking to me, and then I respect what Joe said, but there has a lot to do with the not ego or pride of the, how proud I am to be an African heritage, but also to be living as a free black man here in America, knowing the historical complexities for me to get here. So I'm not going to stand down on anything that I believe in. I'm only going to get stronger because I'm not alone. I have a whole army around me. Okay, rewind. I, mean, I think you said it. So I agree. Like, I agree. I agree with the back, all of the back half of that, like what he said. Where I pause every time is this nigga said, I'm just like you. I'm just like him. I'm just like her. That is not fucking true. So stop acting like stop playing that role. Like you don't know what you, you what kind of effect you can have on masses. You he just said on the back end, I posted that for people, but then he's denying that he did. If you're gonna be in the fight, nigga, swing and be in the fight. Don't be halfway in and halfway out. That's the type. That's the shit that pisses me off. Be in the fucking fight if you're going to be in the fight. Take your fucking stance. He's not doing that. Well, what he did say is he had watched the video. He said during 2020, he read a lot of books, had time to watch videos like everybody else did. He spent his time watching stuff that was uh, on religion and on, you know what I'm saying, the ways of the world. And he felt it to be truth. So then my question is, can we blame somebody for posting truth? I can't blame anybody for posting truth, but you got to say what you are mean. You got to say what you mean and mean what you say. When you say, first you say, I'm not promoting it, but then you post it and saying, I got an army behind me and I got a thousand people behind me and my people with me. Like, what are, what are you saying? Are you in it or are you not, bro? Like, hey. And that's the thing that pisses me off about the situation. Don't dilute the conversation that we want to have. If this is the conversation and you want to be in the conversation, my dude, be in the conversation. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, Zeb, if you want to be in the conversation, be in the conversation. Man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I didn't. What, what was that from? I didn't. That was my first time. I didn't, And I, I came in in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. What was that from? Was that today or something? Um, might have been. That was Kyrie's interview from like a couple of days ago. Yeah. From a couple of days ago. Okay. I think I did see part of that one there. Okay. Yeah. So you you a big NBA fan. What you think about uh, Kanye's stance? Not Kanye. Kyrie. Ooh, see how I did it? <laughs> <laughs> they, they're the same uh, niggas for me. <laughs> what do you mean? What do, I, what do I think about his stance as far as what? Okay, so he's been suspended for five games for anti-Semitic comments for posting a video that could be considered controversial uh, in, in him being who he is and the place that he holds in the world uh, yeah. needs to be accountable for the things he posts. But it was from a public platform, Amazon Prime, that anybody can access. Yeah, okay, so according to my understanding... Uh... He suspended at least five games. At least. And the suspension is for him not um, backing off his square. Disavowing, disavowing anti Semitism. Basically, just saying that he's not anti Semitic. You know, when they asked him directly, 
from all the shit that I seen, when they asked him directly, he always was playing like these little word games and shit. So he, what, what does he say? He said, uh, "How can I be anti-Semitic when yeah. I know where I come from?" Yep, that's right? the same thing Kanye said. So if I am a not Semite, I'm talking about Kanye. So we no, no, no. But Kanye. I'm saying he. This is because Kanye started the conversation. If I am a Semite, which is where he's coming from, if if Africa. So so this is what I'm saying though. Don't play the word games, I, I, which I think is kind of what AC was saying also. Like, so look, uh, are you anti-Semitic, Kyrie? No, of course not. I'm not anti-Semitic. How could I be when I know where I come from? I am a Semite. You see what I'm saying? I am Semitic. I am a black Jew. Right. If you believe that you're a black Jew, how can you be? Question. No, number one, number one, let me, let me also state that I don't agree with the suspension. I don't, I, I don't, you know, I don't agree with it. Um, but you know, Kyrie, man, he just be, you know, bro, just fucking say. And then after he got after the suspension was announced, from my understanding, he released a uh, 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 a lengthy apology on his Instagram. I, I don't right. know anything about that. He where did. he was like, right. uh, what 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 do I remember him saying? Uh, you know, he apologized if he hurt or offended any. Uh, you know, Jewish people or their family, whatever, so forth and so on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what, man? Look, that's my bad. Sorry. Uh, that's that's all you had to say at, in the in the first place. I think, you know, they're gonna still fuck with you a little bit, but instead of playing these word games, and you can so so look, you can include that shit because they're not looking at it that way. That he's a semite. You know what I'm saying? All their all their pick all their all that they're seeing. All that they're grabbing onto, basically, is apparently the fact that this video or this movie or whatever it was is uh, that was based off of some book. Uh, I guess denied the Holocaust, denied the existence of the Holocaust, rather the history of the Holocaust, and apparently there were some alleged erroneous quotes from Hitler, you know, saying that. Uh, you know, the real Jews are black Americans or some shit like, or the real, the real Israelites or the real Jews are black Americans, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's you know, that's an argument for whatever. We can, you know, that's a whole nother fucking show, you know. Um, but so, you know, that's the shit that they were, that's the shit that they were holding on to. That's what they were grabbing. That's what they were grabbing on to. So look, dog, just be like, I don't agree with that shit. You know what I'm saying? My bad. I, to be honest with you, I don't think that he actually watched the full video before he posted that shit. You know what I'm saying? No, he said he if did. If he did, he said then he did. he's probably a fucking idiot. You know, because well, we you have an, to expect. We know he's an idiot. Huh? <laughs> we know he's an idiot. Oh, okay. Well, I ain't know if everybody, you know, acknowledges that. <laughs> no, but, I, but go ahead. My bad. So my what thing is, like you say it's a different show. I'm not sure it is a different show. I think this is the show. I, and you say we're not talking about Kanye. You know, your ass came in late, so you don't know what the fuck it's about. But <laughs> Right, exactly. That's what I'm so saying. So we're yeah. saying this is, we want to talk about this in the context of the greater argument that Kanye was having. And Which was, what, what was his argument? I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to his shit either. Or actually, to, I paid attention to Kyrie's, not to Kanye's that much. Well, for me, what it is, is that um, there is a... There's a barrier for African Americans in business, and Jewish people, even though they probably were uh, instrumental in us in our come up, they have also been instrumental in in oppressing and keeping people from reaching to the next level because of you know the, the tropes about how they stick together and how a dollar turns over in their community. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of the things that Kanye was on and that people have been on for a long time is why is it and, and we talked about Takeoff earlier the culture that Takeoff is 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 allowed to immerse himself in the 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 murder murder death kill the uh, you know what I'm saying lean you know what I'm saying fentanyl whatever shit they be putting out in the music these days that shit's cool to put out in the music but you say something anti-semitic they're gonna bleep that shit out but it's cool for you to kill yourself and right, so who are the companies who, 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 who are the companies that are allowing this shit to happen the companies are owned by jewish people 
You know what I'm saying? And so they are the ones who put us into the music business. And so they allow us to put out music that is denigrating to us. That's that's silly, dog. That's silly. That is not silly. That is that's not silly. silly. Now, let me, let me like, tell you hey, why I'm saying. KRS let has been on you. that shit for decades, bro. Let me tell you why I'm saying that's silly. Is because, and I'm not saying that what you're saying is not, doesn't have some truth to it. I'm saying that it's silly from the standpoint of, um, we got to control our own. The that's the you know the the phrase that I've been hearing uh, the last year or two. You know, controlling our own narrative, right? So nobody is forcing uh, these artists, uh, mostly hip hop artists, to uh, speak death and destruction <laughs> about their own communities. Nobody's forcing that shit, dog. So then I disagree with that wholeheartedly. No, nobody's forcing. Yeah, nobody's I disagree forcing. with that. I disagree with that. Explain. Who's so what it? I'm saying to you is we reinforce what we hear. So if all we heard echoed is this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying, about murder, death, kill, drugs, and that type of thing, that becomes a part of their conscious, and then they speak what they know. So they echo what they've heard, but we have right. seriously... Companies have definitely made sure the conscious rap got wiped from the radio decades ago. You don't hear from KRS one on the radio no more. You don't hear from Public Enemy on the radio anymore. That shit used to happen when we were kids. But they don't put that shit on the radio no more. All you hear is that wild shit. And so who does that? That's the corporations that have made decisions about what gets on the playlist. And who runs those corporations? Yeah, but not us. Thing, it ain't us. What what but but what sale but what the only thing that really matters, dog, is money. Exactly. So if motherfuckers exactly. are listening, if look, listen, if motherfuckers are buying, uh, what what uh what Jay said years ago, uh, about Talib Kweli, I probably you know lyrically, I, forget, I beat Talib Kweli. You know, yeah, I get so it. Yeah. He's saying that he made a conscious decision. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying to avoid certain things, to not rap about certain things in certain ways, and to do what he was doing at that time. <laughs> He made a conscious decision uh, because he, because that's what was selling. That's how he was getting. That was that was putting him on the path to where he is now. You know what I'm saying financially. So what I'm saying is that, look, man, if we there's there's a there's a bunch of uh, of quote unquote conscious rappers. You know what I'm saying. Always has been. Always will be. I think. But are they getting support? Are they are is their music getting streamed? Was it was it being bought? You know, Kara, you you are correct about about back in the day. Uh, let me turn off my phone. When uh, Public Enemy and and Kara's one was at their height, they were at their height at that time. And then after that, it was like uh, N.W.A. Ghetto Boys era. You know what I'm saying? U.G.K. A little after that, the motherfuckers was selling. You know what I mean? Like that. What I don't think that it, that shit was necessarily. Uh, you know what? I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to say that it wasn't necessarily being pushed. But at the same time, we have just like, look, dog, nobody's making us kill each other. And, and I understand that. And you've been well See documented how you feel so, about that. So I don't I, I can't I can't I, I'm not going to buy I don't buy into to the to the argument that. Um, you know, that we're being forced so, to fucking to you consume said yourself. Shit. We're not. You, you kind of glassed over it. The shit gets pushed. Songs that we don't like get pushed on the radio so much so that it gets no, stuck in no, your... No, hold on, 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 I'll let you talk, man. Let me get mine. Come on. Dog, I just got on the motherfucking thing. Oh, hey, how are everybody else doing, by the way, also? Do your check in and shit. Peace to You know, we do have a format, bro. We do have a format, man. Come on, man. I understand that, dog. Don't... Look, man, let's not play this game. I'm not playing the game, Zeb. I'm trying to get the point out. Joe, we both we both talking, okay? Go ahead, man. Say what you need to say. Music that you may or may not like, and it's well documented that people talk about shit that they don't like gets played on the music on the radio until you like it. Matter of fact, your your member of your group, Jeremy Scott, had a lyric that said exactly that. Shit gets played so much that you end up liking it. 
shit gets pushed. And the reason why things get spins, and this is not a mystery. We've heard about this shit a thousand times. It's because DJs get paid to spin it. And who pays them? The corporations that put out the music. So when we say that shit was, was selling, yes, it was selling because a lot of that shit was pushed to sell. And shit that could have sold but had a different message was steered away from airwaves because corporations did not feel that it was right for the public. They saw a formula and they followed that formula. Yes, I understand that people who experience a negative culture and put that shit to music had a right to voice uh, their opinion, and it should be out to the public if they want to. But what I'm saying is corporations said, oh, we got a winner here. Let's go with this one. And therefore, any sound that does not fit this model does not get airplay. Therefore, we only get this negative situation that reinforces what, what death. I was taking, what I was taking that you were saying, I feel like, you know, it kind of changed up slightly. What I was taking that you were saying was that they were purposefully pushing that specific uh, destructive type of music. I am saying not that. I'm not that they were following a formula that works, that sells. That's what I'm saying. They work. They, they were saying. definitely following a formula that works and sells. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Format. You know That's what, what I'm saying? saying? And that was part of it, but that wasn't a lot of it was party shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of it was just, you know, shit about songs about dances and shit. It wasn't all, you know what I mean? So, but if I were to put out some negative shit about Jewish people, uh huh, that's just not making it into the record. I can do whatever fuck I want to do to a black man. I, I've heard, I, I think if you listen to, uh, I think if you listen to uh, J J Electronica Jay Z album, what's um, what's the name of the album? And he caught fucking a hell of backlash from uh, Paul Rosenberg over that shit. So, but they, but, they came they came listen, down hard listen, on his listen, ass for bro, that. Listen, I'm not arguing against that. Not arguing against that at all. What I'm arguing against is that it was there. The reason why Paul Rosenberg had an issue with it, why he was able to say something about it, was because he listened to the album, and it's on the album. Nobody stopped it from being on the album. You know what I'm saying? Now he cut. He, you gonna catch whatever you catch from it. You see what I'm saying? You gonna catch whatever backlash. We not catch. catch we not catching backlash for whatever Takeoff said that put him in environments that got him killed. We we not catching backlash for all the shit that talks about anything that's anti that's, that's anti black like, anti melanated. That's, that's because, in my opinion, that's because the Jewish community has um, such cohesiveness uh, and, you know, they have such cohesiveness, basically, as a community in, in America, and I guess perhaps in other parts of the world, too, uh, that they don't tolerate the shit. So whenever whenever some shit gets said, you know what I'm saying, they, they have an organization, the ADL, we have an organization, the NAACP, you know what I'm saying, they're just stronger than, than the NAACP for whatever reasons. You know what I'm saying, and they don't, so, so, when, it, so when some shit gets said about them, they ban up immediately. So that's what I'm saying. We need to well, fucking ban up. I ain't mad at them for that. No I'm, no, I'm mad at us because we over here talking about Kyrie and how crazy he is and that Kanye how crazy he is. They black people first and foremost. They said whatever they said about whatever situation, but when they said something about a Jewish person and they get their whole shit ripped out from underneath them, we just took it as, oh, well, they shouldn't have said that shit. Master, master said not to say it, and you went ahead and said it, so that's that's on you. Fuck that shit. They are talking about a real conversation that needs to be had. We know what happened to NWA. We know about that situation. I don't. Once again, I'm not. I'm not super familiar with. I, I heard about you know some of the Kanye shit, but I don't know exactly what he said. I didn't. I didn't see the interviews and shit. I didn't see the Drink Chaps episode. Uh, that that episode with Kanye. Then I think they took it down. Go ahead. But, um, as oh, far as my bad, I thought you was done. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Finish it up, Zeb. Oh, uh, as far as Kyrie is concerned, I don't know, man. I haven't been, you know, I, what I've been hearing is that I don't, I'm not on Twitter and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So what I've been hearing basically on on TV is, you know, um, the shit. The movie has some shit in there that was. I haven't seen the movie, so this is all third hand. That was clearly anti-Semitic shit. You know what I'm saying? Along with whatever other shit that they had that may or may not be real or be true. I don't know. I haven't seen the shit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, look, if there's some shit that's clearly anti-Semitic, and like, so if somebody, if let's say, uh, what's old boy Tyler Hero for the that play for the for the Miami Heat, 
right? Or what's a what's a what's a white boy like Luka Doncic? That's a superstar. You know what I'm saying? Let's say he posted some shit that and and said something like uh, that had some information in there saying that uh, you know slavery was a made up thing or some shit. You know what I'm saying? That it really didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Or you know it didn't happen how it's been said that it happened all these years or whatever. He gonna get this. I, I will hope that we get on his ass the same way that the Jewish community is getting on uh, Kyrie's ass over the shit, you know? And I don't think that anybody, you know, I don't think that most rational people would be like, you know, uh, necessarily off the bat, like, you know, fuck Luca, but we'd be like, bro, you know, uh, I don't know, the rest of this shit, there might have been some good information in this in this thing that you posted, but it's also saying some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And you need to, you know, you know, Whatever, you don't need to apologize for that. You didn't make the fucking movie. Kyrie don't need to apologize for the movie. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, bro, pick your battles, dog, at the same time. Pick your battles, man. It, it, apparently, the movie has some bullshit in it. So you just be like, my bad. You know what I'm saying? I didn't realize that this shit was in the movie when I posted it or whatever, however you want to come across it, however you want to explain right, it. I feel like we spun the block on that. I think we've made that point. A parent, I'm off of that. I'm on. Why are we so? I just quick? got home, bro. So I don't. We said don't it like since you've been on. Late. We spun the block since you've been on. We've already said that. Okay. So what I'm asking okay. is, yeah. why is it that we are willing to sacrifice these two gentlemen to the Jewish people and say, oh, that's what he get? That's what I want to know. I don't think. I don't think any. So what do you? Like so what do you want? What do you want? On, to me? Go ahead. Actually, hold on. Go ahead. I don't feel like. I don't feel like that's the issue, though. I feel like. The bigger part of the issue is what I was saying earlier. Don't dilute the fucking conversation. Nigga, if you're going to have the conversation, have the fucking conversation. I'm Do trying that. to have the conversation right now. I'm really huh? trying to have this conversation. Y'all keep talking about Kyrie. I'm talking about us. I'm talking about us. Zeb just said... Yeah, I, don't, that- I, don't think, I don't think anybody... Say, I, don't, I don't see... I don't see um, Neither one of them cats being sacrificed, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? What? Hey, you step what? in shit. You know what I'm saying? You stepped in some shit. Nobody, I, at least in my mind, I'm not like, you know, fuck Kyrie, fuck Kanye. Kanye got you know, you, dropped you from got a fuck Kanye everything he this. had. How's he not been sacrificed? I'm sorry, say that again? You Kanye's been dropped from everything he had. He's been dropped from Adidas. Yeah, what, He's been dropped from Balenciaga. I mean, that's, Adidas. Adidas. Was, hold on, Tom. I, I heard that the hold on, Zeb, hold on. A, a, a GoFundMe thing for him. I mean, is that, you know. Okay, whatever that. I mean, what? Zeb, what he got wanna, dropped from Adidas. Okay, never mind. What you say, man? Go ahead. I'm asking I'm ask you a question. I'm sticking on something else. What, what I don't do want to answer your question. Know? I want to talk about what I was saying. Adidas, of all the companies on earth, is dropping a nigga for being anti Semitic. Adidas. Adidas made clothes for the Nazis and for the Hitler youth. That's and we right. drop it and we drop in Kanye for being anti Semitic. Come on, no. man. So where 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 it's not good it for to, their business. To bring it back to the conversation that, that Joe is trying to have, okay, there's there's clearly a structure for when this happens in certain communities. Anybody who says that against that community gets fucking dropped. That's right? what I'm on. So for us, in our situation, you know what I'm saying? I know I, last week you said that, you know, we don't have the plug. We can't pull the plug on these niggas. But how do we, how do we get to a place where we can have the ability to pull the plug? Because it seems like as a community, we don't take the smaller steps. This what do you, is when you say, the when you say pull the plug, what do right you mean? Here. Well, you for, to the Kanye, show, Kanye got the plug pulled on him, basically. What's, uh, Kyrie is getting the plug pulled on him. But when uh, if, if, uh, if another person, uh, like if a black person, or they say something about a black person, nobody's going to pull the plug on them like that, is, 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 is kind of what we were getting at. Gotcha. And so you ask how are we going to get to the step, get there. This is the step. I don't like the representative. I don't like that it came from Kanye. I don't like that it came from Kyrie because of their history of saying wild shit. But in some of their incoherent rantings, every once in a while they stumble on a gym. And I'm saying that this is something that needs to be talked about. But what we want to talk about is, oh, that nigga's on his own. 
Oh, he fucked up. He shouldn't have had a co- if he gonna have a conversation, had a whole conversation. These are imperfect vessels, but they stumbled upon something that needs to be talked about. There has been a co- coercion, not coercion, is not the word I'm looking for. Um, they have a, a a a cartel which runs business, and anybody who steps outside of their boundary is exed out automatically. And we can say wild things about any other culture including our own and they can run that shit in videos and, and, uh, and on music and in movies and do all that shit. But as soon as you come for their culture, they, 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 you know what I'm saying? They strap it all down. It's on lockdown. But then when it happens to us, we want to, we want to put it on Kanye cause he crazy. Or we want to put it on, um, Kyrie cause he wild. Why the fuck don't we come today? You, you, you talking about why we did it. This is the time. We, this is the moment. This is the call to arms. We should be out here doing the same thing to them they doing us. We don't have the ability to pull the plug, but if we ever going to get it, you talking about we need to unite. This is the moment. Yeah, I think that the plug is the, uh, is, um, I'm with, I'm with, I think, I think that ownership is, is the really, is really the only way, dog. And that is what Kanye was on. Yeah. That's been exactly on that. what Kanye was on. He's been on that. For years, so he got pulled the plug for talking about the ownership. No, I don't know what he. I don't know. Once again, I don't I'm really telling you what, what he did. I know you didn't listen. I heard you twice the first time. He yeah. so he was telling people about Jewish people and how they do business and how they uh, basically what he said that they do. They did. They proved their point by doing it to him. Right. Okay. Yeah. What they so did to him is so, exactly so what my, he said that they do. So yeah. So it's not about their ownership though. It's about our ownership. And how do we get there? Uh, look at their blueprint. And so that's what he's trying to do. But when yeah, he tried but, to talk about it, it when he tried it, to go uh, public with it, he got xed out. When okay, Kyrie so, tried so, to talk about but, it, he get xed out. But but juxtapose it. Uh, juxtapose it with uh, what Jay Z said in uh, the OJ song. And how he was talking about, uh, once again, uh, I forget the exact lyric, uh, something about how the Jewish did it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you we got know, it. Yeah, I, I could have bought this building in Dumbo back here for two for whatever, and it'd be worth for $2 million, and now it's worth $20 million. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he's, he's saying the same message, but how he's saying it is not... He's not uh he's not bringing anybody else down. He's not tearing anybody else down. He's not he's not he's putting the onus and the responsibility on us as a community, as black people in America, as a community to uh you know don't spend your money in the strip club, buy the property uh in the in, in your in your neighborhood that you grew up in. You just you know did it saying? again. You just did it again. You separated him from the rest of the flock. Separated who? Kyrie. Kanye. You said he didn't do it like Jay-Z. I understand he didn't do it like Jay-Z. I don't. I'm not I so, told I you I don't like the vessel that it came with. But I, what I we got to do. I juxtapose it on how how the message was presented. I didn't, they I didn't, don't, I didn't, they don't uh, juxtapose. Separate. If you're wrong. Kanye, look, if you with me, even when you're wrong, you're right. That's, that's how they roll. Let's talk, let's talk. I mean, you want to talk about it? Let's talk about what they do in in Israel to the Palestinians. What they do in the Gaza Strip? What? A, no, we've yeah, had that conversation. Well, we've had that conversation. Even when they yeah, wrong, they right. Yeah. We even when they wrong, they right. They don't give a fuck. Oh, do you? So, know, so yeah, if, okay. if if this nigga says something out of pocket, I don't give a fuck. He's ours. Why the fuck are we selling him down the road? I don't. I'm. I don't see that. I see it. Yeah, well, you see something different than I do, bro. I see a group of people that have uh, a certain uh, level of of power and control that um, we have the ability to also eventually accomplish. No, 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 we don't. No, we don't. 
Well, if you say we don't, then we definitely don't. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's talk about the self-affirmation. Fuck that shit. There's a thing called no, history. No, I'm not talking about self-affirmation. I'm saying They had you, a holocaust. If you, they had, if, you, if you don't think a thing can be achieved, then exactly, you I get that. I understand that. State of Israel, if you dream it is, I get that. Okay, I watched, I watched the movie, too. But I'm, I'm saying, saying to you, talk, there's a thing talk, called history. Talk, uh, not important. There's a thing yeah, called bro, history. Bro, okay. stop, stop, stop trying to belittle it. Zeb, I'm not trying to belittle. I'm trying to make a goddamn point, man. You told me the other day or, or a year ago that you don't like being interrupted, man. When I'm trying to make a point, you keep jumping in. What's up? Spare me, bro. Spare I'm me. saying spare me. Nigga, you do it all the fucking time. Okay. You interrupt people all the time, bro. All right, all right man. I'm not going to get into that with you. I'm not going to say what you're saying. All right, man. No, no, I ain't, no. Go ahead and say it. You got it, man. Go ahead. You go at it. I'm done. I, I don't. I maybe I said what I said. So say what you need to say. I was trying to, bro, but I got interrupted. Okay, so don't pout. Say it. I'm not pouting. I, mean, I don't remember what the fuck it say, was. I got interrupted, man. Say, say I just it. said I don't remember it because I got interrupted. Well, my bad. What do you want me to say, my man? What, do you, what would you like me to say now? I apologize for interrupting. I don't give a fuck if you apologize. That's fine. That's cool. Here, take a kiss. There you go. I like you, the first person that's ever been interrupted on the See, Ain't nobody said nothing about nothing shit like that. Ain't nobody said no shit nothing like that. Spare me. And, and you spared, nigga. I ain't said shit. All right, we done with this topic. We moving on. What's happening? I don't know. Run the show, nigga. I don't know. Y'all do what y'all want to do. I don't have the agenda. I oh, just, you don't. You don't have an agenda, but you you got something to say. Say it. I said what I wanted to say. Well, Justin. good. I know. Thank you. All right. Um, never, ever, ever miss a chance to break bread with your brother. All right, so I haven't really been following this whole Kyrie Irving thing, to be honest, outside of my sports betting. That's all I know, the bros fucking me up there. But when I think about what it is he's standing for, maybe this is the way that he wants to educate the masses and be able to, like, share that he's willing to have something that he stands for and that he's willing to maybe potentially lose his funding. Now, I don't know how he feels about his loss of Nike or, you know, the, the game suspension or whatever. He hasn't necessarily said one way or the other. I do understand to the point of, like, what I think some of our other counterparts were saying in regards to he has a platform, he needs to be mindful of what he's done. But it sounds like what he did was very purposeful, and he was trying to educate himself and maybe educate others that follow his similar belief pattern. I don't, you know, I just think at the end of the day, we're not necessarily sending them on up the road. It's one of those situations where I feel like they knew that this could have happened. Like when you're out there speaking and you're talking about educating others and giving people the truth, you're going to lose at some point. And it would be nice if people would wrap themselves around him, them, but we're going to talk about Kyrie, him in particular. But I think sometimes that's the cost to be the boss. Sometimes you, you speak your truth and not everybody's going to follow you. Sometimes you have to stand alone. On your on your belief. I don't know. How do you got anything to add? No, I think it's been it's been beat. I think I understand where you're trying to go with it and get more on the what can black people do, but I don't know if we know what we can do to make sure that anything is different until whoever's in charge of deciding that Jewish people are the, the sole people that can't be talked about in society. Like, nothing will be any different. I don't think it's going to be different until we have the tough conversation. And that's what I was trying to have today. I was trying to have the tough conversation. Um, this is my guy. You know what I'm saying? We both hard-headed. But, uh, I feel like at some point we need to stop, you know, talking for the sake of talking and listening to what be, what's being said and and maybe take things from a different aspect and listen to a different point of view and see what we can gain from it, you know, and that's that's where I was at today. So, good people, I'm, I'm sorry that, uh, you know, there was a portion of the show that did not end in, the, in, a, in a happy manner. 
you know, sometimes when you're at the barbecue, you know, the cousins scrap a little bit, you know. So every once in a while when you break bread, somebody might get a neck broke too or something. I don't know. So I I, I still love my guy. I, I do feel like. Maybe we were, I'll, I'll say, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be like Kyrie. I, maybe we were both being unfair to each other. Um, and maybe we'll have to rap about it offline. I don't know. But I think the only way we're going to get to the point where we can think like Jewish people is by thinking like Jewish people. And we weren't thinking like Jewish people in that situation. We were thinking like we've been trained to think. We've been, we were talking in a divide and conquer mindset. And so we put Kanye out on the island. We put Kyrie out on the island. Jewish people wouldn't do that in my mindset, from what I understand. And so I thought this is a perfect opportunity to have that conversation and talk about how I don't care what the situation is. We need to back our brothers. I don't know. I think that's I'm not like you, but I feel like you can't back everybody. Like I'm, Issa Rae says, I support everybody black, and I'm all for that. But sometimes if people are speaking out of turn, you can't always support them. I'm not saying that these guys are speaking out of turn, but there are times when you can't support everybody. I understand that. You have to pick and choose your battles. I thought this was a battle that we should have picked and chose. I just feel, I also feel that like, like you were trying to take the conversation somewhere, but I don't know if it was clear which way you were trying to take it. And I think people were, were talking about what they knew about this and you were trying to get more into the historical background side of it. And I don't think that that was clear. And I think, especially because... Zeb had come on, didn't know what had been talked about before. He was just sharing what he, show. Did, what he was yeah. doing. What did you say, Kim? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. No, this was like a real when life imitates art type situation. Like, this is the, we just played the story right here. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and speak. How, how so? I mean, the vessel that it comes from is not always the ideal vessel. Mm -hmm. That was the same in the story. And I think sometimes, again, when, when, when we're hearing certain words come from certain people, we take it a certain way. I think, I'm, and I'm wondering, like, as I'm piecing what I've heard tonight with the Kyrie and the Kanye situation, like Kanye is maybe one of the closest people that has gotten to that level to mm -hmm. where he can maybe mimic that. Mm -hmm. And here it is, he's trying to bring it back. And yeah, it's kind of coded in some other shit. Like we gotta go and really listen and research what this man is saying sometimes. But for the most part, he's trying to guide us in a different way. But because it's Kanye, because it's Kim Kardashian, you know, George Bush doesn't like black people, you know, and then all this other chaos that came in between, because it's Kanye, we can't hear it. We can't get past the messenger. And that's, I, I, that kind of is. And that's, one of that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get past the messenger. I want to get past how the message was delivered. And I wanted to talk about what the ethos was. You know, I wanted to get to the, the core of, let's look. Every once in a while, they talk about some real shit. You know. Even though they think the earth is flat and white lives matter. <laughs> Anyway. They're not saying white. Well, I guess he did say white lives matter. Yeah, absolutely. He wore a shirt. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes. I was going to say that he's saying Hebrew lives matter. But. Yeah. So, um, Hebrew lives do matter. Hebrew Israelites lives matter. Um, brothers and sisters of the bread lives matter. There's a lot of lives that matter out here. So not blue lives. Just kidding. They matter too. Blue's and blue is not a life. Right. Blue is an outfit. <laughs> a job, basically. It is a job. So not all lives matter because blue doesn't matter. But when they take the blue off and they are white, brown, green, or whatever, I guess that matters too. But um 
What do you guys have for the uh, the good of humanity? Poor child. Damn, that's a deep ass question. <laughs> Shit. Speak on it. I feel like we need to commemorate this as a mad mad episode or a, what's the type of thing at the end of the year when people got hella beef? I think, I think we uh, retired the mad mad and I think we wanted to go to sleep. Okay. I think we need to go to sleep, so. Bring it out of retirement. We gotta bring it on up. Bring it on up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Kim, anything for uh, the good of civilization? Okay, can I tell y'all a quick story real quick? Yes, please. I'm bring it back together. So, um, this is to my women folk. I mean, to men cook too. We had a rough episode. So if it, if I say anything that's kind of gender sensitive or something like that, I didn't mean it, y'all. I'm just high stress. So I got a new stove. And you know it's stressful as the first time baking a cake in a new stove is like it's worse than the first day on the job. Like I've never been so <sighs> let's go on record and just say I I messed up a cake, y'all. And I'm, I've been real kind of fucked up in the head about it. I kind of get a little, like, I'm kind of getting verklempt. Um, not like verklempt, hold up. up. Not, not I feel like, Kim, you need to take a breath because, new, like you said, new appliances are a whole different thing for, for so many reasons. So I don't think that's... It's like being fun. with a new, like... It's like being with somebody new. Speak it's, on it. Speak on it. You act like this ain't the brothers breaking bread. Break the bread. I broke that cake. Burn the pie. It, Burn the cake. <laughs> I know. It was just bad. Like, I went and I flipped it and it cracked. Y'all, I'm about to cry. So, at the end of the day. Hold up. You flipped it and it cracked. What, what are we talking about? The new man or the new appliance? No, the new. The new. The, okay, no. First and foremost, the appliance is still intact. <laughs> so, like, the first cake that you bake in the in the new oven, the it's pretty, though, y'all. Y'all got to see it. It's like blue and ceramic on the inside. I didn't even know it. Anywho. The shit cooks quicker, so I, ma- I was making a little cake or whatever, trying a little something new, add a little extra booze, put that cake in the oven, and I'm like, damn, this cake is smelling good. Anywho, so you have to flip a bunt cake, so you have to take it, put something on top, and you, and you flip it, and there's this telltale sound. It makes this, like, kind of like when you open up a pickle jar sound. I was going to say something else, but I ain't going to go there. Uh-uh, yeah. let's go, go there. Let's, what is it? New, and so it's one of the like macaroni in the pot. Nigga, what, what no, you like no. You you're waiting for this seal to break. It's kind of like the first time you. Anyway, you you get in there and 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 it didn't make that sound. It never dropped. It just never. And so you're waiting for this sound to materialize, and it's just not happening. You not it's not happening. So I'm sitting here looking like, well, maybe I'm an assistant. Like I'm going put a little toothpick around it to kind of loosen it up, make it work, add a little extra butter, add a little extra, I'm going to say lubricants to it. It's going down south quick. Anywho. I don't so know what's I going on. Just the, what story are we telling? <laughs> I'm telling the cake. I'm telling the story of flipping the cake. And Is so we, I'm waiting. flipping these cakes? Is that what we do? <laughs> Is that what we doing these days? It we is, out here flipping it, cakes? It is a real cake in a real pan. But needless to say... Now you're flipping them cakes. I, I put my magic on it. <laughs> That's not sound good either. And uh, <laughs> I, I let it set for a little bit. <laughs> and this is one of them times where it sounded so much better in my head. And then it's coming out and it's all bad. And so I, I flipped the cake. The cake is actually sitting on my refrigerator and it looks decent. But cooking on a new appliance for the first time. Is a very stressful act. And I thought I was going to come on here and break bread with my brothers and sisters and not have a stressful act. But yet here we is, all of us. Well, the majority of us. <sighs> Thank y'all for... All right, Hendrick said so. Yeah, we're going to be all right. Thank you for hearing me out. I'm feeling better. So and yeah. your cake turned out good. It did, it did. You just got to, you know, ease back into it. And you're going to learn your oven. It's going to be great. Mm, yes, learning the oven. So what I hear you say is you got to warm the oven up before you ease back into it when you're trying to flip these cakes. That's that's what I gathered out of that. I don't know. 
Yeah, you know what? That was a very good Cliff Notes version. We just going <laughs> and, and however people take it is how they take it. And if I get canceled because I'm out here flipping these cakes and they they thinking it's some other cakes that I'm flipping, then I'm going to just have to be canceled. And y'all can't find me because we ain't, you know, we ain't like that. <laughs> you, you, did you have to, like, uh, dip something in there to see if it was moist or if it was... um you know, ready? Or what, what, do you have like a dipstick that you put in there? It's called a toothpick. Toothpick. Oh, that's what it was called. Toothpick. My best toothpick. Yeah. So. A, you don't have to. You don't have to poke very deep. You don't have to. Oh, it's, water. It's, it's, all you gotta do is get inside. That's that's good to know. That's all you know. Surface level. Surface level. Surface level. Okay. All right. I'll take that under advisement if I'm ever flipping cakes again. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for the brothers and sisters of the bread. <laughs> she, the bakers of, uh, of of the cakes, the bakers of the bread. It's been quite the episode. Quite episode. Quite an episode. We need we need Roger back to uh, moderate and bring some calm to these waters. I almost tried to break in and mediate between you guys, but I was like, let me let these this the testosterone here just do its own thing. I'm proud of myself. I let my feminine energy set. Oh, God. I was like, yeah, y'all, y'all chilling back in the cut. Y'all ain't doing nothing. Mm-mm, y'all needed to have that because if, if, if I would have stepped in, we wouldn't have had that larger point where the point was made through the act. Yeah. The point was made through the act. I just kudos to Kim and her feminine energy setting. Shit. This is this is why y'all are so important to the show. This is why. Y'all, y'all really saved the whole thing, really. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know if I saved it. I let you all have your little beef and your dis- disgruntledness, and I let you keep not clarifying what it was that you were trying to do. I was like, let me just see how this how this goes. Let's see where this ha- what happens with this. But in the aftermath, y'all brought purpose to it. All right. And that's what women do. Come on, Joe. Give us life. Well, unless you're Herschel Walker. Give us life and we will give you seed. There it is. Sorry. There it is. <laughs> this is why y'all are valuable beyond measure. And we definitely love y'all for that. So for Kim, Ada, AC, and Zeb, this is uh, Joe Jeff. One half of the Brothers of Doom signing off. The tabs, they have been tabulated. Never, ever, ever, ever forget to flip cakes with your brothers and sisters. We out. Just stick it in. You don't even got to move it. You don't even got to move it. <laughs> Surface level. I'm glad. I'm glad that that got recovered. This is deep. This that is was deep. a good one. Yeah, we're gonna see how it, how it edits. We, well, we, it's gonna be a difficult edit. I don't be. know how it you gonna be. do that. We gonna make it work. We we've been here before. <laughs> we've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I appreciate y'all. Appreciate appreciate y'all too. So have a good night. Have a good weekend. Um. Yeah, all that good stuff. Go tote that bars, lift that bell, working that chain gang. Oh yeah, yeah. This be good. Hopefully last oh, last week, uh, when I was doing it, this the team that you know, it's always the visitor side that you stand on. They were losing pretty bad. Almost got to that thirty five point mark, but then they missed a field goal. They uh boy on the sideline was like Clean as uniform you could possibly see, but all talking the shit to every chain gang person, he's like, You guys wanna make a bet on this game? You guys wanna put some money on this game? Wait, wait. Hey, miss, you got kids? Miss, you got a boyfriend? I was like, dude, if you don't pay attention to this game and maybe you get some playing time, get some dirt on yourself. He's trying to get some play. And they all stink. That's the worst part of doing the chain game. The smell as the game progresses. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's there's um there's an expression about boys' locker rooms. So yeah, you don't want to go in there. Oh, ew, it's so gross. It is. It's bad. It's like mildew. That. Yeah. It's all around. Yeah, it's bad. So, there you go. Uh, work it and get my twenty-two dollars an hour. 
I think it is. It's either 22 or 27. I can't remember. Right, go get it. I turned my money down today because I was like, it's raining, it's cold. Oh, no. Yeah. And then they wanted me to go work at the school that has refused to let me announce. How are you going to do that? They want me to. Uh, they wanted me to take tickets. Oh, no. I was like, no, if I can't announce it's your school, I'm not taking fucking tickets. Fuck y'all. Yeah. And isn't that a different type of check, too, that you would be getting? I'm assuming. There was, so when they first pulled that shit, um, he got me to come work. But I was taking tickets, but he paid me at the assistant site manager uh-huh. pay. Yeah. And I was like, bet, cool, I'll come do that. You know what I'm saying? But for regular ass pay, to like, I. I I don't do this no. shit for the money. I do this shit because it's fun. You yeah, know and I'd rather do the announcing than the ticket collection. Yeah, so if I can't do the announcing, let somebody else make that money. I'm good. Right. Let me have my Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting soaked in the rain also. So exactly. Right there. So. You guys, it's still raining out that way. It just started here. Did it? Well, I hope it's it Sunday. clears up by tomorrow. You get nothing but sunshine. Yeah, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. Well, windy, but not raining, so I'm done with that. Mm-hmm. Anyway. All right, you have a good weekend. You do the same. Take care. Bye-bye. Be safe out there. Break bread with your brothers whenever possible.